Hello, this is Jibu Jacob Thomas once again. This is a fourth part of the EDK tutorial on how to interface a DDR memory, uh, DDR SD RAM memory through EDK to a peripheral where you transfer a chunk of data to the peripheral. The peripheral does a small computation and transfer the data again back to the DDR through a DMA and display it. So we start off with the uh, SDK because uh, you know the previous sessions we were covering the hardware part of it, and now the hardware the files or the hardware uh, you know the, the part of the entire project had been transferred to the software, where uh, the board support packages have been created, all the APA functions are in, intact, and you can use all of them. Now you can write your uh, uh, software part, application part in C program or C or C++ or whatever language you want to. But uh, here as of now, SDK is supporting C, C++ languages. So uh, how to start a C pro uh, C lang I mean C project is like this: you go create, uh, click new. And start a new Xilinx C project where you can, uh, you know, there are some already default uh, applications like Echo Server, Memory Test, and uh, Redstone, Hello World, etc. But you can create your own empty applications with this. Uh, in you know, click empty application from here, and then uh, you can add your own empty, uh, you know, application uh, name. It's like Hello World program or DMA program that you want to do, whatever it is. Move on next, and uh, this is a normal default. BSP application that you're going to use it. Just click finish and you'll create a new separate uh, project. But since we have already created two separate projects, we're not again adding one more. So the project that I've created is like this. It's a DMA test app uh, project and a peripheral test simple app that I've, uh, I've developed. Wherein the DMA test app is what I'm going to explain right now. In this particular DMA test app, what I'm going to do is exactly what I said earlier. Uh, transfer a chunk of data from the DDR uh, memory. Here it goes. It's like uh, first you write into the DDR memory uh, some chunk of data. It's like I'm uh, you know using a for loop and uh, with i variable uh, changing from uh, 0, 1, 2, etc. to 50. So I write 50 da data from 0 to uh, 49 into the DDR memory. And then what I'm going to do is like I just verify the data from the memory uh, and make sure that data is properly written to the memory. <coughs> Then initiate the DMA transfer. Before initiating the DMA transfer, I initialize uh, the DMA. Uh, does the initialization, uh, you know, part of the DMA. Make sure that it is properly working. Then transfer the chunk of data from the uh, DDR memory to the memory zero of the peripheral that I've created. Oh, I'm sorry. And now what I do is, once you transfer the data, uh, the, the the hardware part of it, it'll take care of the data that had been written into the memory zero. Uh, it do it does some computation. So for that computation to happen, I just give a delay, a small delay. After that, computation is over, and now you have to transfer the data back into the DDR memory. So you transfer the data from the memory one into memory zero. You have added the data. It does some computation on the uh, values in the memory zero, and it stores into the memory one. Now the the, the computer data is in memory one. So get the data from the memory one, transfer it to the DDR memory through DMA, and you display the data. Uh, whatever the data is there in the DDR, the computer or, or the transfer data, you display. It. This is what we are doing. So now we need to program the FPGA first. So this is a system.bit file that we are going to program, and this is a block RAM memory uh, map file, which actually maps the ELF file or the uh, executable file uh, of the C program. C program has been compiled and made an execute made into an executable format, and now this part contains some hex files or hex data or the instructions uh, which are acceptable for the microblaze. So this data should be dumped into the instruction memory of the microblaze. So that is taken care by this block RAM memory map. So you program it. It will take some time uh, for it to program. By the time I'll take a break and come back.